general reading. Mm. I hope that everyone is maintaining a good positive attitude this holiday season. Okay. If not, if you're angry, if you're sad, please try to feel gratitude or whatever it is that you have in your life, please look around and see that things could always be worse. Okay. What's going to bring us more things to be grateful for is being grateful for what we already have. Okay. So, if you're feeling sad, I do feel that. Okay. I do feel that from you. Um, if you're feeling bitter and angry, I feel that too, but you know, I feel it. I feel it. I'm a human being and, um, just don't live in that energy is what I'm asking you to just not stay there. Don't set up camp. Okay. Three of swords, 10 of pentacles in reverse. Your, your, um, home life might not be stable. Might be a little rocky right now where you're actually living, or just, you know, stuff that's going on in the household with, with the other people that you live with. So let's invite our spirit guide, Angel Galactic Council, okay? Source, oh, ancestors, past loved ones, source, God, the Almighty, the Most High, Holy Spirit, into this reading. Thank you for the cards and the words to deliver the message that is meant to be delivered at this time. We ask that you protect us with the brightest of white lights um, during this read and that we send any negativity coming our way back to a sender. And I trust that you get this on time whenever it is meant to find you. This is a general reading. This may not be your reading. I do suggest that you check out all of my videos. They're all different. They're all authentic. They're all rad. We keep it real here at Hard Knocks Tarot, even if it gets hard. We trudge through the mud. Right, Spirit Tribe? Yes, we do. All right, it's getting kind of... <laughs> <laughs> love channel but spirit might want to just talk about your your spiritual path all right we'll see what needs to be spoken of today please take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't relate to you for another viewer okay it is meant for somebody else yes i bleached my eyebrows um switch the roles as necessary i could be picking up energy from your person if this is not your energy okay also i could be picking up energy from past or future my reads tend to be uh, about two to five months forward okay but not necessarily let's get into this shit spirit guides thank you the emperor could be dealing with an aries but not necessarily first card up is the emperor so someone's putting their foot down all right but with this turtle here someone is being strategic and not uh rushing themselves this is masculine energy this is taking the reins taking matters into their own hands Okay, not just accepting fate as it comes, but doing what it takes to get the outcome that is desired. But like I said, slow movement with that turtle, okay? Let's see what else. Messages of truth. Messages of truth, please, spirit. Four of pentacles. The empress comes out. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. So, so someone's holding back their feelings for their divine counterpart. 
we have emperor and empress coming out right away in the middle we have the four of pentacles which landed on my lap the empress landed on the side of me as well as the ace of pentacles in reverse okay the four of pentacles is telling me telling me someone is holding back from um from their love someone's holding back their love I'm not expressing everything that they're that they would like to express um a masculine energy is missing a feminine energy here their divine counterpart their soulmate someone feel someone here feels unappreciated or unsure that their offer will be received the way that they would like to receive but someone wants to give an offer okay divine masculine wants to offer up something something they want to show appreciation they want to show love let's clarify why is it so hot oh my goodness all right so we do have aries energy here and we have virgo all right let's use another deck the uncommon tarot all right it's about that time again if you're still here if you're watching go ahead and like this video in five four three two one, give it a spanking, give it a spanking, give it a spanking, give it a spanking. Thank you. All right. If this resonates with you, please subscribe to the channel. When you support this channel, you are supporting the autism family. For that, I do thank you. All right. Clarifying the emperor. Who is this emperor? Well, this emperor is you or your person, okay? Behind the scenes, moving slowly. And strategically, tell me about this emperor, please, and thank you. Messages of truth. Thank you. And we have the world, the ace of wands in reverse. Whew. You are turned off by something. By wherever you're at, collective. You're not happy. You're not excited. Wherever you're at right now, you are not excited. You're not happy. It's not the bee's knees for you, okay? It's not getting you... It's not getting you off. Look, the three of swords in reverse. Wow. The ten of wands in the upright. Oh, it's hot as fuck in here. I wore the wrong shirt to work out in. Oh, great. Oh, okay, I don't have any more shirts in here. Okay. Oh, I got to clarify these even further with the Love Oracle deck because somebody here is trying to heal, but it's burdensome. It is burdensome and it's not doing it for you. You know, whatever it is where you're at, it's just not working. Maybe it helped you to heal. Okay, so we're talking about a rebound again. We're talking about a rebound here. I'm sorry. We're talking about a rebound it's a burden. Look, the emperor taking control, the three of wands, uh, no, I'm sorry, the ace of wands in reverse. Uh, you're not that excited. You're not that, you know, you're not that into it. You're just not that into it. Okay. The three of swords in reverse. Okay. Maybe it helped you heal a little bit. You were in a lot of pain with, when you met this person. Uh, 10 of wands in the upright. Now it's becoming a bit of a burden. Okay. That's becoming a burden. Do you want to stick this out? You're still there. Are you happy? It's helping you heal. Are you excited? No. So let's get more. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Oh, my face is itching. Oh, I'm getting crowded up in here. So everyone's on vacation. Oh my gosh. These gardeners have the best job ever. Okay. Living your best life. All right. All right. Are we ready for this? Clarifying the Ace of Wands. Where did the excitement go? The wand is flat. Why? Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So wherever you are at collective, you might be 
in a toxic relationship with someone due to the fact that you both might be addicted to uh, substances or you might be in a relationship where one or both of you is on the rebound on the rebound okay that's why uh, you're not able to keep a heart on that's what that's why you're not able to be stay excited about this you know person maybe you're only excited when you're drunk or you know stoned or whatever um not sure but you're still healing you got into a relationship where you're still healing okay three of swords in reverse clarify it please hot as fuck in here break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment so collective you might be feeling abandoned you might be giving someone the silent treatment there was a breakup and a separation with somebody there was an unhealthy pattern that you stopped with somebody but then again you went right back into a relationship that was also just as bad if not worse ten of wands messages of the truth Keep a positive mindset, abundance, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Okay, so what I'm feeling here with this 10 of wands is spirit is telling me that you're not giving up the fight for love collective, that you are keeping a positive mindset when it comes to love, that you are trying to stay positive. Holy fuck, I did not expect it to be this hot today. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can work out. I might have to go home and change my shirt. Sudden change is coming up. This is a, this is the tower. Shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Oh boy. Someone might have gotten pregnant. Hmm. Hmm. Someone definitely might have gotten pregnant. Damn. All right. That's not for everybody, but someone got into a relationship. It was a rebound. And now they're trying to make the best out of the situation, but they're not happy. Mm -mm. But they're going to keep going on just to save face. It's because they feel stupid. And, you know, what else could they do? They uh, got somebody pregnant, it looks like here. The person that you're with, collective, might be well off when it comes to money you might be with somebody just because uh their family has money or connections or could help you in some kind of way and work or whatever and you got this person pregnant but or you might be okay so please switch roles um but you're not happy you're not excited about the situation you just feel obligated damn Let's get more. Give me more on the um, on the Ace of Wands in reverse, please. Because that's the most concerning. You're, the truth of the matter is you're faking it till you make it and you're not happy at this time. There it is. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like you are preparing to move elsewhere away from this situation all right let's clarify the next one because i am sweating oh this sucks i'm not gonna be able to work out all right i'm gonna turn the air on it's too hot in here i'm sorry guys i hope you can hear me So let's see what this Four of Pentacles is about. All right, Four of Pentacles. Give us the T on this Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles speaks about holding back, holding back, all right? Hoarding, hoarding money, hoarding information, hoarding your love. And we have the Awakening card again, number 20. Okay, I'm still learning these cards. I do apologize. So this card is the judgment card and it's in the upright. And we also have the seven of coins in reverse. You're definitely holding back from somebody. Definitely holding back your feelings. Don't 
during this time of establishing uh, establish, establishing a relationship with somebody else collective you are mentally elsewhere you are thinking about other things in other places and other times but now you're starting to think that maybe you've been investing your time and energy and love in the wrong direction. So you are having second thoughts. You are holding back from wherever you're at, and you're also holding back for wherever that uh, you wish to be in the future. You're holding back. You're not giving your energy anywhere right now. Wow. You, there is something that you are looking at differently though. And it's, uh, it's making you think. It's making you think. Okay. It's making you think that you're putting all your eggs in the wrong basket. Okay. You're holding back from them. You're holding back from where you'd like to be. Moving on to the Empress. Okay. The Empress. Now this is your person. You see this person as a loving, caring. Give me more, please, on this Empress energy. Some motherly type energy. Who is this Empress? What about this Empress? You see this person as a soulmate, as a divine counterpart in some kind of way, shape, or form. This could be your mother doesn't have to be sexual. What's going on with this? Messages of truth, please. Thank you. And we have the... So you're not talking. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Whoever you feel drawn to, whoever you feel is... Someone that loves you unconditionally. You're stopping yourself from contacting them. Or are they you? Yeah. A cycle has ended with the world card. That's how they're feeling. Or yourself. Cycle has ended. transformation, tenacity to end the cycle. There might have been some type of chaos. We won't go into it to end this cycle. But a cycle with this Empress energy, there's a part of your lives that you live together, that you experience together. That energy in which you experience life together is over. So that might be a good thing. It says here there's a lot of energy in the past and in the present. So that might be a good thing that that cycle's over, right? Um, but there's definitely a holdback of communication and action here with the Empress. Let's get one more. And I'm feeling this card very strongly, so let's get the bottom one. It's the Four of Wands. Look at that. This is our marriage card. This is our come together under one roof let's share our resources let's make some shit happen let's integrate our family let's celebrate together all right so there you go let's clarify that, let's clarify that one. clarifying the four of wands please Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So this right here is why things aren't coming together. There is a runner in the situation, either you or them or both of you. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, 
listening to ego. It says right here. Okay. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness. So someone's ego and fear of intimacy is keeping them from this beautiful energy. Even though they know a cycle is ended, either the empress or the emperor is, or both, is not moving forward in this connection. Last card is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see what's going on with that. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You want to offer something to this Empress. But you fear that your offer will be rejected. That's what I'm feeling here. And we have the Page of Cups. Wow. I want to start off slow. Like I said, you're holding back. You still got a stinky old fish in that cup, but you got your titties out at the same time. So that's potential. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. The nine of coins in reverse. The empress in reverse. Oh. Faking the funk. Damn. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone realized that they were their own worst enemy, that they were putting the blinders on themselves, that they weren't seeing things for what they really were. And it was all because they weren't seeing things the way they really were. It was their way of thinking that it was hurting them and keeping them in the dark. But I don't think you want this empress with the empress in reverse the current person that you're dealing with they turned out to be a fraud they turned out to not be all that as they said nine of pentacles in reverse cage of cups i think you're just going along with the flow someone's faking up the funk someone is going along with something that they really don't have their heart in. Let's get three more messages to end the read from the Love Oracle. What are the final messages, please? Messages of truth, please, for the collective. Final messages of truth for the collective. Thank you for joining me today. Sorry, I wasn't so exciting. I, um, yeah. My car smells like gas. G-A-S. Um, uh, it gets me a little wonky and also I have to go to the bathroom so and it's hot day after here just saying I'm not complaining I'm grateful for today three last cards of messages of truth messages of truth regarding this situation please one ugh. okay found another card it's a six of pentacles oh my god okay I'm declaring that out I yeah, it's not for us. I can't get it. Let's get three. Three more cards. First card is happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Someone's fantasizing. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear, ego issues. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. Last Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Someone wants to commit. I think it's you. I think you're holding back because of fear and what people think and what position that you're in right now. Um, I do believe you're ready to give an equal give and take somewhere along the line. But where you're at right now, you're not excited about it. You're not enthusiastic about it. You're looking elsewhere. Um, that's all I have for you. Until next time, collective, I'm going to try not to shit my pants. TMI. And I will see you on the next one.
This is Hard Knocks Love Tarot. I love you. Until next time. Peace and namaste.